Hello my fellow mathematicians, welcome to this study whereby we are focusing on the application of a matrix. So the first thing which you do is uh, to, to rewrite this matrix uh, into, I mean to rewrite this simultaneous equation into a matrix form. So this, this is done by doing it this way. So we will have matrix 2. 3, 3, negative 1. So you write the coefficient of x and you arrange them this way. x, coefficient of x, make the first uh, column and the coefficient of y, make the second column. Then you write your x here being the first element and your y the second element that way. Then you which is equal to on this other side uh, you will have 3 3 uh, 10 so now once you have reached simultaneous equation in matrix form you can call this uh, matrix here A you will get the, the determinant determinant of A which is given by the product of the baby diagonal, which is 2 times negative 2 will give you negative 2 minus 3 times 3 will give you 9. This will give you negative 11. Negative 11. Once th then from there you get A inverse. A inverse is given by, by 1 over determinant, which is negative 11 bracket. You change this element negative one negative three negative three two so what you do where you have negative two you write two where you have two you write negative one and you change the you change the the sign of this element so from there now once you have uh, found the inverse the next thing that you do is to pre-multiply, to pre-multiply uh, this matrix by the universe, the matrix here. You, you, you pre-multiply both the right-hand side and the left-hand side by the universe. So we can start with the left-hand side. We will have a negative 1 over 11. Our universe is a negative 1, negative 3 negative 3, 2. You multiply this with the matrix, which is 2, 3, 3, negative 1, into bracket x, y. This will be equal to our inverse is negative 1 over 11, into bracket negative 1, negative 3 negative 3 2 multiplied by our matrix on the other side is 3 uh, 10 3 10 so now we multiply this uh, it is advisable you leave the negative 1 over 11 outside to avoid the possibility of making errors so we are going to leave it uh, we are going to leave it outside the bracket so you to multiply battery it it, it battery it, it, whereby it is row times column to get the first element so you have negative one times two to give you negative two negative three times three will give you negative nine that is the first element to get the second element, it is the first row times the second column, which is negative 1 times 3, which will give you negative 3. Then you have negative 3 times negative 1. So that will give you 3 plus 3. That way. Then to get the, the element here, it is the second row times first column. Negative 3 times 2 will give you negative 6. Then you have 2 times 3 to give you 6. 
Then the negative 3 times 3 will give you negative 9. Then you have 2 times negative 2 to give you uh, negative 2. That way. X, Y. X, Y. Which is equal to. On this other side you have negative 1 over 11. That way. So, you will have negative 1 times 3 to give you negative negative 3. Negative 3 times 10 will give you uh, negative uh, that. Negative 3 times 10 will give you that. Then the second, you know, with the first column, negative 3 times negative 3 times 3 will give you negative 9. 2 times 10 will give you 20. That way. Then from there you simplify. You have negative 1 over 11 into bracket. Negative 2 minus 9 will give you negative 11. Negative 6 plus 6 will give you 0. Negative 3 plus 3 will give you 0. Negative 9 minus 2 we don't give you negative 11. X, Y. Which is equal to negative 1 over 11. Into bracket. Negative 3 minus negative that. I don't give you negative that. Three. Negative 9 plus. Uh, plus. 20 will give you 11. So, on the left hand side, when you remove the bracket, when you remove the bracket here, you will have the first element here, you will have negative 1 over 11 multiplied by negative 11 that way. Then you have negative 1 over 11 multiplied by 0. Then you have uh, negative 1 over 11. Multiplied by 0. Sorry, by 0. We are removing the bracket there. Then you have negative 1 over 11. Multiplied by negative 11. After removing the bracket there. X. Y. This is equal to. Negative 1 over 11. Times negative 33. Then you have negative 1 over 11 times 11 so that is what you get on the right hand side of course negative 1 over 11 times negative 11 will give you 1 negative 1 over 11 times 0 will give you 0 negative 1 over 11 times 0 will also give you 0 negative 1 over 11 times negative 11 will give you 1 x y this is equal to negative 1 over 11 times negative that 3 will give you 3 negative 1 over 11 times 11 will give you negative 1 so it will give you negative 1 so here on the right hand side you have 1 times x which will give you x uh, plus 0 times y will give you 0y. Then this other 0 times x, 0x plus 1 times y, y. Which is equal to 3, negative 1. So this is x, y. Which is equal to 3, negative 1. Meaning that uh, our result is that uh, x is equal to 3 and y is equal to negative 1. 
we can check our result check we had 2x plus uh, 2x plus 3y is equal to 3 so we can check and see we have found that x is equal to 3 y is equal to negative 1 so this will give you 6 uh, plus minus 3 so you can see 3 is equal to 3 meaning that that part is correct we take the other one equation number 2 was 3x minus uh, y which was equal to 10 so this is 9 minus minus 1 which is equal to so this is 9 plus 1 which is equal to 10 so 10 is equal to 10 meaning that our working is correct thanks so much for what were planning with me in this video tutorial whereby we have looked at how we can solve simultaneous equation uh, using matrix uh, method on the other part of matrix remember to subscribe to this channel and also to check on the this on the on the link below so that you get other studies which you have done concerning uh, matrix uh, note that uh, when you are pre-multiplying the matrix with the universe on the left hand side you can simply you can leave this part because when you pre-multiply a matrix with the x universe the result is the identity matrix so you can simply write this directly to simplify your work you can simply write this identity matrix because a, a matrix multiplied by x, by x universe will give you an identity matrix or when you when you pre-multiply a matrix with the x universe the result is always the identity matrix so thanks so much for taking time to learn with me see you in the next video